Good mood. Actually, he's in a bad mood. I want to stay. He wants to stay with you. Just sharpening them. No, this is. Ah, come on. Ah, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey guys, what's going on this week? Um, as you can tell, I spent the earlier part of my week out at a farm and we went out there to check out those cute little pygmy goats. Oh my freaking god, were they adorable. Um, they are only two days old. It's really, really impressive how fast animals can really grow up when they're only two days old. And then I keep reminding myself that in Africa, the zebra has to run from the moment it's born. So that's, that's pretty cool, considering that babies, when we're born, all we do is just crawl around and poop everywhere. On a side note, I got a message. <laughs> I got a message from Junior, and he said that the headlight on the passenger side is giving him a lot of trouble again. So we're gonna go ahead and take a peek. I have a feeling it's the ballast. So he went ahead and ordered ballast from Amazon, and we're gonna throw it in there and see if that's the issue. And hopefully everything works out smoothly. Um, in other news, I went ahead and I ordered three backup cameras on top of the um, backup camera that's already installed on this vehicle and we're gonna go ahead and test them all next week and see how well it works actually I shouldn't say next week that's a lot um, may maybe about two weeks I I'm also working on the seatbelt issue with the Z3 and that's really really bugging me right now um, so let me just go ahead, grab some lunch, and then I will get started on that ballast change. And in case you guys are wondering, today is a smash burger day. So now that we got the fender well removed, what we're going to do is loosen up the bolts on the intercooler so that way we can actually get to our Torx bits for the ballast. And what we're going to use for this is a 13 mil. Just gonna hit it on there and then unscrew it. And now with those out of the way, you're gonna go ahead and get a 10 mil and you're gonna take this one off right here. But you're gonna wanna be careful because this thing's gonna wanna move. that's what you want to do. You basically just want to pull it off. You don't want to yank it all the way off because all you need to do is get to your torque bits right there. 
which you can get to from the underside. So now what we're going to use is a T20 Torx and we're just going to go ahead and begin unscrewing one, two, move this all the way to get to three, and then four. And after that we'll pull it down and we'll slide it off in that direction back over here. It's crazy easy. Well, where are the turbos out of the way this car? Right next to your engine. comes the real tricky part. You have to slide it forward. Listen to Junior's phone ring. <laughs> you have to slide it forward and get it down just enough to get to those clips. If you're wearing gloves at this point, you're going to want to take your gloves off. You're going to tilt it, pinch right here, disconnect one, and this one will just pop right off. There you go. There's your ballast. Now hopefully he's got the right part. This is the original OEM right here from Germany. This is what it looks like. This is what an aftermarket one looks like right here. See it? See the difference? This is by HID Haven. The outside looks completely different, but the insides, this is what you need to look for, is that your headlight connection, which is this right here, matches up with the headlight connection here, and then the power supply, this is the power supply going to it, here is the same as this here. Notice you got square, uh, kind of like a hexagon, hexagon, square. And you just want to make sure you get the same combinations. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just slide the other one in from the bottom. We're just going to slide this in right behind the intercooler. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect all of our plugs. Now remember the order that you want to do you want to do first the headlight connection you 
just push it in you'll feel when it gets tight and then the second one you're going to want to do is the power supply now, there's only one way it can go in so you push it till you hear it click now after that you're going to push it up you're going to line it up and then you're going to start putting on the torx bit so here we are just holding it in position we're going to get our torx bits and just going to start putting them in where they need to go by hand first always want to do everything by hand first and the reason is if you go straight to using the tool there's a good chance you can strip it because you're going into plastic and you don't want to do that the last thing you want is um, water creeping up behind this and then shorting out your ballast because then you'll have no headlights for a long long time Now those of you that are doing the driver's side of the vehicle, you don't have to worry about the intercooler. It will not be there um, in some models. Some models have two dual intercoolers and it's the same procedure, only opposite. So hopefully you guys are better being left-handed because you're going to be using that hand a lot more on that side. So now you're just going to give it a push to make sure everything's tight. Slide your hands around, feel for any openings if there's any openings now's the time that you want to dress it and everything's on there pretty tight so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fire up the car and we're just going to make sure everything's working functionally let me see if junior has figured out this program saw that that means that the ballast that they provided us with is bad. As you can see, it's already shorting out. So the ballast is cooked. Guys, here's something that we just found out. The reason it didn't work is because this Chinese version versus the original version, instead of using a hardened plastic, they used rubber. The rubber literally melted in three seconds after it turned on. And now we got a whole nother mess. As you guys can see, the rubber is fused to the connection. So we're gonna get all of that off to get the old one on. So YouTube, um, I think I learned a valuable lesson during that ballast install and the important lesson that I learned is that ballasts from China are not to be trusted at all. I don't care how many good reviews it has, it did not work out, period. Um, it's sad, but Junior's a little bit upset. Sorry, nothing I can do, buddy. At least you guys learn how to install and replace the ballast now inside a BMW and then you learn how much of a pain in the ass those things can really be. So, sorry about that. But, at least you guys get to see me drive in the car and hopefully the farm video was good.
right guys i couldn't wait for the next episode to show you this this was the first mod that i went ahead and did on the c300 i think you guys will approve of it it is a called a shadow projector and all it does is it replaces the floor light right here and it casts the mercedes-benz logo onto the ground so if you go somewhere like if you're pulling up to a club and you open up your doors this thing projects on the ground definitely gets everybody's attention everybody stops everybody stares and you can get this on ebay for i think i paid 20 bucks for both this side and that side and it's super easy to install it just pulls off the old ones put on the new ones just plugs right in no mods at all um makes me wonder why mercedes did not put this in the first place because this is just this is just freaking badass this is way better than that glowing star that they made on the front of their cars um, so of course guys if you like these videos and you guys like everything that i'm working on and doing please hit the subscribe button hit the thumbs up if you really really like it and i'll catch you guys next week take care